Book 1, Preposition 47. In right-angled triangles, the square on the side subtending the right angle is equal to the squares on the sides containing the right angle. Let ABC be a right-angled triangle, having the angle BAC a right angle. I say that the square of BC is equal to the squares on BA and AC. For let the square BDEC have been described on BC and GB and HC on AB and AC. And let have AL been drawn through the point A parallel to either BD or CE. And let AD and FC have been joined. And since the angles BAC and BAG are each right angles, then two straight lines AC and AG not lying on the same side make the adjacent angles with some straight line BA at the point A on it equal to two right angles. Thus, CA is straight on to AG. So, for the same reason, BA is straight on to AH. And since the angle DBC is equal to FBA, for they are both right angles, let ABC have been added to both. Thus, the whole DBA is equal to the whole FBC. And since DB is equal to BC and FB to BA, the two DB BA are equal to the two CB BF respectively. And the angle DBA equals the angle FBC. Thus, the base AD is equal to the base FC, and the triangle ADB is equal to the triangle FBC. And the parallelogram BL is double of the triangle ADB, for they have the same base, BD, and are between the same parallels, BD and AL. And the square GB is double the triangle FBC, for again, they have the same base, FB, and are between the same parallels, FB and GC. And the doubles of equal things are equal to one another. Thus, the parallelogram BL is also equal to the square GB. So, similarly, AE and BK can be joined. The parallelogram CL can be shown to be equal to the square HC, and the square BDEC is described on BC, and GB and HC on BA and AC. Thus, the square on the side BC equals the squares on the sides BA and AC. Thus, in right-angled triangles, the square on the side subtending the right angle is equal to the squares on the sides surrounding the right angle, which is the very thing it was required to show.